Welcome to Nitro Esports, this is N7 Sondland, and today we'll be t doing a video on the ultimate hiding spots guide for the Rocket League modded map, Hide and Seek. So, without further ado, let's get started on it, and take I'll take you through the best hiding spots I have found so far, and show you how to get to them. The first one, if you drive off towards the hider's box, and go into the basement of the map, through the entrance over here behind the uh, ramp to the camera room. If you come down here and drive over here, and then I'll wait till the light comes back so you guys can see this easier. If you then boost yourself up on top of this platform in the middle of the basement, there's an opening right here which will have a flashing light to show you where it is. If you then drop into this opening, you will enter into the hidden blue room. Now in this hidden blue room there's a number of features. First off, back here is a hiding spot that's pretty much invisible if they just drop in looking for you. You can hide back here and get away from them. There's nothing else really of value back there except being able to hide in that and being able to look through the wall and see if anybody's driving through the basement. You can also get that advantage out of it. The second hiding spot is again, it is actually connected to the blue room. If you come here and go in the same process of getting to the blue room as you have just used to get into it the first time, boost up and drop into it. But this time, instead of just hiding in the blue room like we did last time, you're going to drive on the other side of this bright blue light to the left of me. And when you do so and drive towards the wall, you're going to get teleported to the top floor be in a room behind a large glass pane. Right here. You get teleported up here. Now, unless the, hunt the seekers or hunters know about that teleportation, they'll have no way of getting to you because this is a glass wall. They have physically no way of getting to you. Except through the teleporter room. So now, you're up here. You can sit here and you can taunt them all day long and they'll have no idea how to get to you unless they know about the teleporter. Or you can come into the secondary room and just be completely out of sight and they'll have no idea you're up here. Also, if you went out of this, for instance, if they do know about the teleporter and they teleport here and you went out, you can drive to this blue wall and it'll slide open and let you out. And the third hiding spot is going to be also located on the top floor. If you either take the tube or drive up this ramp, those are the two easiest ways to get to this location. You then either drive behind this wall or the wall on the other side. And then you go to the back wall over here. And then on this back wall, about in the middle of it, you'll see this hole right above me. You want to jump and boost through here, and then you want to jump, boost up here, and go in this area. And once you drive down this hallway, you will be in the small glass room on the top floor. Again, this is a glass wall, so unless the seeker knows about the small opening in that back wall, they'll have no way of getting at you which will be, if they don't know about it, it'll be extremely infuriating and really annoying for the Seeker. The fourth hiding spot on this map is over here. So, yes, it's right in here. If you drop down, you see that opening. If you get into this opening, you'll be able to hide under the stairs. And unless they know about this opening, if I can actually get in, unless they know about it, Again, like all of the other hiding spots I'm going to be showing you on this, they're going to be seriously annoyed. Once you're in here, you can just sit in the middle here, and they'll drive up and down these stairs getting the boiling hot notification without actually being able to find you, which is amazing. Unless they look through the wall and see that opening, or drive above it and look down and see the opening, they're going to have a really hard time figuring it out, which makes this hiding spot another one of the greats. The next hiding spot is located on the top floor, or not located, but is going to be started on the top floor. 
you want to come up here and line yourself up with the left side of this, well, actually, you want to line yourself up about right here, and then you want to drive off through the opening and start boosting. And that'll give you access to this hiding spot, which of course you can stay right around in here and have access to just jumping back out the way you came, or you can continue to follow this hallway and gain access to the full potential of this hiding spot which is out here. Once you're here, jump off and boost over to this platform and they won't be able to see your name tag or your car and you're, you're really, really high up at this point. There's really no way they get access to you. And that's this hiding spot. It, I like to call it the floating platform. Be careful, there's an, there is a gap at the back on this side, which, you know, you do fall through. Right, and then once you're here, you can also go to the second um, platform, the second ledge, and once you're on the second ledge, you can stay here, or you can go to this third ledge. Also, you'll see what, where I'm looking through the wall right now. You can see that little tiny ledge. It's really not worth landing on you can't actually get through the ceiling there which is like what would be the purpose of landing there is there's actually glass over it so really it's pointless i don't really know why they made it a ledge but once you're here you can then boost hopefully over to here and once you're here you've got one of the greatest hiding spots in the game it is even if you just sit here and let them see you they'll have one heck of a time making it to you like I probably did a good seven tries just to make it here, and I've got practice doing it. All right, but the hard part about this is what's right in front of me. I can't actually do it. I'm not that good at these parkour things where you have to bounce from the one wall to the next. I'm pretty darn bad. So I actually managed to finally get on the other side of this parkour hellscape, basically. But I wasn't recording at the time, so I quickly turned on my recording software just so I could capture this and show you what's on the other side of it. So basically what's on the other side of it is the final picture frame with nine, wait, nine and three-fourths on it. I don't know why he put nine and three-fourths on it. I haven't figured that out yet. But that's the final picture frame. And on the other side of this wall is the monitor that shows all of the uh, security cameras throughout the map. And like you just saw randomly pick, pops up with a picture of John Sandman. Also, you can hide behind this monitor if you want and see if somebody's coming for you by looking out through the wall. Anyway, that's what's on the other side of this uh, that's parkour skate. Thank you for watching this video of the ultimate hiding spots for the Rocket League modded hide and seek. If you guys have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Hello.